Hi guys, welcome back to TOK today. We're just having a little overview look at the essay titles. This is not the detailed TOK Today essay video on essay title number three. This is just an overview with Gareth, TOK guru and mentor. Okay, so number three is nothing is more exciting than fresh ideas. So why are areas of knowledge often so slow to adopt them? Discuss with reference to human sciences and one other area of knowledge. Not well, it's a nice point from the last last one, isn't it, really? Because, again, you've got this idea of, like, let's say, for instance, a university department, human sciences, all kind of broadly operating within the same mindset and approach. Um, and then a new idea comes up. So it's, again, it's this notion of generalisation, specialisation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll be coming back to behavioural economics for this question as well. As well, right, right. As it fits. Both the questions are sort of about the evolution of knowledge in, in some yeah. ways. This one more obviously than than the other one. When I was thinking about this question, the first sort of challenge I have is to just get around that idea of exciting. We know, and I hope the students know, that exciting in this sort of time means methodologically exciting or exciting for the development of knowledge i don't think they're referring to going on a roller coaster or anything like that <laughs> so students will need to unpack that idea a bit i think there is a case to be argued here that that inherently new ideas when when they if rightly or wrongly Okay, so the second part of the question is this, uh, why are we often so slow to adopt these fresh ideas? Which, again, I'm not sure that we are. Do you have any yeah. thoughts about this, Gareth? Well, I, I, I think, obviously, there's there's always the process of verification, um, especially verification over time. So a fresh idea, uh, not only is, it, is there a, a whole host of, um, there's a big need to persuade people, particularly when people's livelihoods are, are based on one pre-existing paradigm. Uh, but like I said, uh, the new ideas have to be verified to convince people to change their, their their way of thinking about whatever it is the new ideas are concerned with. And also, um, I also think that, and I think there was a question some years ago about this, is this notion of areas of knowledge behaving, uh, in a, uh, they, they try to preserve themselves. In, in an existing form, they, and so they they evolve very very slowly um, because there are all sorts of innate um, ways in which, particularly institutionalized forms of knowledge. And again, I'm thinking about universities try to replicate themselves in their own form, in their own image. Um, I don't know if that's making sense. Um, Absolutely. Um, so I think that th there's there's two points there that are quite interesting. Just just to butt in there, I think that the students who are watching will know that. Culture is one of the 12 TOK concepts. And if you, you the more you use the TOK concepts in your essay, the better it is. So mm. here talking about the culture of the areas of knowledge will be important. Uh, and, it, and it's quite funny looking back. I mean, you're you're nearly old enough to remember. Now, you, we both remember the advent of punk rock and how kind of shocking and new that was, you know, uh, and how slowly it, it took to become the orthodoxy. Uh, it was in very much in and of itself unorthodox, but now you know it's quite conservative to like the Clash. You know, it's uh, uh, it seems like a common sense knowledge to appreciate uh, elements of punk rock. With those music references, it's uh, just a good time to just plug one of my videos, which is "What Can Taylor Swift Teach Us About TOK," which I put in a <laughs> above. But one of my most popular videos. <laughs> above the one on post-structuralism. Yeah, Taylor's got a lot more to teach us about TOK than Derrida does, put it that way. <laughs> okay, there we have it. Essay number three, some brief overview thoughts from Gareth. It really helped my thinking. I'm sorry that we got interrupted in the middle of that video, but I'm going to have a detailed video on essay number three where we'll go through the exact stuff that you need to know for essay number three. That will be published in a couple of weeks. If you found that video useful, then give me a like and give me a subscribe. And if you want essay notes for essay number three, then head over to TOK today with free downloads. Thank <laughs> you.